TNT and Bob and I peel join us for just a couple of minutes and we we're just talking guys about tomorrow's a day off for this ball club couldn't come at a better time really. Yeah, and Johnny, it'll be the last day off for quite a while when the Nats get back at it Tuesday in Colorado. They'll play straight through for a couple of weeks and maybe closer to three weeks. So, FP, I guess you, you shove this one behind you. You take the day off tomorrow. Use it whatever way you can. And Colorado is a place where an offense can come alive, but you have to pitch well up there, too. Yeah, absolutely. You just filed today away. And, and you, you kind of circled today as you thought this might happen today. It, what happened the first three games of this series – or head scratchers. You, you had Vogelsong, Kane, and Peavy, guys that you know you thought you were going to handle. Yeah. Didn't work out from a pitching standpoint for the Nats. Really didn't work out from an offensive standpoint when you look at the big picture either. Today, you know, if you're a Nats fan, you should have no problem with Madison Bumgarner. That's what he does. He does that to a lot of people. So you were hoping you could find a way to win today. But I think when you look back at the first three games of the series, that's where you kind of circle and say, well, OK, those are games that maybe they should have had. They didn't. And, you know, I guess the good thing about baseball is that you move on. But, yeah. you know, you're just looking for something right now. You're right. looking for a spark. You're looking for some fire. You're looking for some passion for somebody to step up and, and take this bull by the horn, so to speak and turn it around and you're looking for it on a daily basis something to hang your hat on to say okay this team's in it they're in it to win it they're, they're going to do whatever it takes it hasn't happened yet the day off might be a good thing and you're hoping it starts against the rockies and i guess guys what i'll take out of this series the nats in the middle two games scored 11 runs hadn't seen that in a while they didn't win those games in fact they didn't come very close to winning those games but at least some bats are making some noisy and desmond looking good and one more thing the Mets have done nothing to bury the Nats the last few days. No, I mean, they, they could have. I mean, this could be a seven or eight game deal like the wild cards nine right now, maybe 10 after today. So, yeah, I mean, you're still in this thing. No matter how you're playing, if you're two games back with the last three to go against the Mets, you have a chance. So a long way to go. But things have to change. And how they change is, like I said last night, everybody looking at themselves in the mirror and saying, what can I do personally to help yeah. this ball club win a game today? Because when it goes bad, Carp, you start pointing fingers. Right. One group's pointing at these guys. They're pointing at these guys. Uh, you know, they could be doing better. He could be doing better. And once you start pointing fingers and it gets divided, that's when the real trouble happens. Yeah. I don't think that's happened yet. But when you lose six in a row and you're below 500 and you were supposed to be the, the juggernaut of baseball, you know, you have, to, you have to guard against that. Stay together as a ball club and figure out a way to turn it around. So there will be an airplane flying to Denver tonight. All the players will be on it. They'll be in uniform on Tuesday. Johnny, time to enjoy the day off. We know you guys have work to do, but can't wait to see you from Coors Field, and hopefully a turnaround is straight ahead. Okay, Bob, thank you very much. Bob Carpenter.